What's up, Logan lovers? It's Logan, and uh, yeah, we're back with another video. So basically, there's some like haunted, mythical creature thing. You aren't even supposed to say its name. It rhymes with Windabo, but uh, we're here to see something, right? So, uh, Windigo, 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 Windigo! <laughs> Come on, Dante. Your crippled old man could have stayed on longer than that. Hey, go get another crack rib. Yeah, wouldn't you like to see that? So you gonna say anything, or are we just gonna pretend nothing happened? Babe. Look, nothing happened, so we don't have to pretend nothing happened. They were just texts. She's a friend, and she was just trying to be funny. How would you feel? How would I feel what? How would you feel if I was getting texts like that from some guy and I just said it was nothing? How would you feel then? Well, for one, I'd trust you. You'd take my word and that'd be the end of it? Yeah, it's called trust. You're supposed to trust me. I mean, I trust you. Paris. Give me a drink, will you? Yes, sir. You got any more of them chocolates? Hold on, let me check. Nope, last one. You didn't even look. Want me to check again? Uh, that won't be necessary. Calm down. Go ahead, jump. The world will be better off without people like you. No, it's people like you. Fucking low life. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to save this guy. If you're not going to help, leave. Fuck you, tell me what to do. Why don't you climb up there and you two can jump together and I'll get it on video. Hold hands, it'll be cute, I'll text it to you. You and olive oil need to get the hell out of my house before I lose my shit. Listen man, I'm not in the mood for this acting exercise or whatever this is right now. What the hell's your problem anyway? What's, what's my problem? What's my problem? <laughs> I, I stuck my neck out for you for years. And I always had your back. And, 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 and what do I get from you, huh? You leave me here to die on this floor, right here on this floor. And then you have the audacity to take over my house while I'm in recovery. You don't call, you don't write, you don't come visit, no nothing. And then I come home and find out you've been living my life and screwing some trash in my bed. Hey! Hey man, I didn't leave you to die. I called 911! You One left me to die! Oh please, save me the sob story. You aren't gonna die. I didn't force you to do anything you've never tried on your own plenty of times before. That's on you! Stop, oh, guys! Stop! Stop. 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 You have a safe, don't you? <laughs> I know you. <laughs> I bet you make you tell me where it is <laughs> and what the code is. <laughs> Last chance. Get up your money. You're going to make it work. You need to walk or leave. Ah, that's right. <laughs> Hey guys, just making the rounds. Uh-uh. No. Get out. You're bad luck. Oh, come on. Before you go, I just want to make sure everything's nice and- Don't you say that keyword. word. You mean... Quiet? No. No. Afuera. I'm just messing. No. <laughs> Kyle. I want my money, asshole. Kyle? Kyle! Why did you stop? The cops are on their way! 
What the fuck do you people want? We're leaving. I'm sorry, how is this connected to Jessica? There have been several reports of people receiving flyers that appear to be from your school advertising a 24-7 counseling hotline. The number listed belongs to you. We think Jessica may have received one of these flyers. Do you know who may have taken your phone? Well, I can assure you I have no connection. Maybe Brandon. He's the only person who I actually remember passing my bag. Brandon... Brandon Carner. Speaking of second grade, I have a brother. He's about eight years old. I love the little guy. He's always running around, drawing, playing soccer in the backyard. I mean, yeah, there's some sibling rivalry, but you know, he's always encouraging me. Granted, it's to go kill myself. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, your siblings have never said that to you? I mean, he's young, he's a kid. Here's the thing with kids, they don't understand the power of words. They're completely unfiltered. For example, here's a conversation I had with Kevin. Kevin's my younger brother. Kevin was like, hey Isaac, I oftentimes enjoy your company, but today it's not doing it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the nicest thing he's ever said to me. I'll take that as a win. Oh, absolutely, score, yeah. In the words of the ancients, one should make his decision within the space of seven breaths. Where is she? Ugh. Okay, okay. She's up 54th Street. <laughs>